back by popular demand, more flashcards. Great. This time with Dr. Dr. Olson. Olson. Hi, guys. Let's take a look. Okay. This is some conjunctival disease. Name the lesion. Stellate pattern of capillaries. On a conjunctiva with pedunculated or umbilicated core. Pedunculated. It's like a like a stalk. Yes. Right? Yes, yes. Is that what that means? Yes. <sighs> it's a tough one. Could be a couple things, like a papilloma. Mm -hmm. You could be looking at CIN, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Oh, conjunctival squamous papilloma. Papilloma. Have you seen any of those before? I haven't really seen too many, to be honest. Not very common, but they will mm -hmm. pop up in your clinics. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Dacrio adenoma. So, if we think about what dacrio means, so dacrio is the is part of the lacrimal system. Mm -hmm. So where the tears drain. Mm -hmm. Adenoma, to me, means maybe some sort of mass going on there. What do you think? Totally agree. And then I'm thinking there's dacrio cystitis. There's dacrio. Adenitis. Adenitis. Is this more like lacrimal gland? I think so. Benign proliferation of mm -hmm. lacrimal secretory type cells originated from conjunctival surface epithelium. So, any of those areas. Mm -hmm. I, you were right on. I love that. Okay. True. Oh, I love true or false. <laughs> Me too. They're hard. They're really hard. <laughs> ah. CIN <laughs> refers to misnomer. It's a tumor that's confined. Confined. Oh, confined. <laughs> Non-invasive. <laughs> Confined to epithelial layer by an intact basement membrane. Mm. Well, I don't think that's a misnomer. That just seems tr true. True. I agree. <laughs> Aren't we just contrasting from like invasive squamous cell carcinoma? I think so. Oh, I hope we're right. Oh, yes, we got it. True. Okay, moving Love on. It. Let's get going through. Oh, another true or false. What do you think? CIN is less likely to show in smokers, HIV, HPV patients. That's false. 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 That just feels... It like, feels false, uh, right? Come on. Those have to be at higher risk. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Right, good. Great, great. <laughs> oh. Oh. I... What, gene? Literally don't know if no. I have any idea. No idea. Uh, no idea. Yes, the P53! <laughs> we knew that. Of course. That was buried somewhere, I think, in my brain. Moving on. <laughs> if CIN is non-invasive... Oh. I love questions mm -hmm. like this because we think about benign versus malignant mm -hmm. or invasive versus not. It's still, I think, causing tissue destruction yes. wherever it is. Yeah. I don't know. Let me take a look. It's a precursor. Yes. True. So it hasn't invaded yet, but it has the potential to, correct? It's on its way. Yeah. And there's other mm -hmm. lesions we see in the conjunctiva that do that also where it's fine until mm -hmm. it's... Until it's not fine. Not fine. Yeah. Uh, oh, describe. <laughs> wow, they're really hammering yeah, this Yeah, the CIN, well demarcated from what it sounds like. Okay, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. um, I think of these really weird hairpin blood vessels mm -hmm. yes. on the surface. Sun-exposed areas mm -hmm. is what I think also. Mm -hmm. Pink, jet-like, <laughs> fleshy. fleshy, sessile, not pedunculated, uh -huh. or minimally elevated, elevated. lesion. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Oh. Mitomycin. Mitomycin. <laughs> Funny. Used to remove. Why is it used to? Well, I don't think mitomycin is used to remove no. a tumor. Once it's removed, mm -hmm. though, I think it stops recurrence. Yes. I feel like we use other drops also for tumors as well, though, in addition to mitomycin. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what they are, but I don't remember. Like a 5-fluoro? Yes. Five, yes, 5 Alpha interferon. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. That's a good explanation. <laughs> I oh, wouldn't have known all that. It can cause scleral melt. Did you know that? Actually, not scleral. Scleral. Oh, scleral. Scleral. Yes. 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 Okay, but that's good. Minimizing the use of it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Describe Pam. Pam. Not from the office, Pam. Right. No, not from the office. <laughs> Um, um, I think it's kind of a, this new p pigmentation on the conjunctiva. Yes. Um, so new is like the very key, I think. That is word. a key word. I think also melanosis is fairly flat mm -hmm, compared to flat. a nevus could be raised. Yep. Now we just talked about the concern with CIN, concern for becoming invasive. Mm -hmm. What are we concerned about this becoming, I wonder? Probably um, um, melanoma. It's gotta be. Right? It's gotta be. We, we, we overdid that one in a good way. I Painless, think so too. flat, brown spot eye might superficially look like a freckle. I and 
could become melanoma Yellow. and a new lesion. Mm-hmm. Caucasian. <laughs> what are we here? Caucasian. <laughs> With a new conjunctival neva, I need to rule out. I don't even, I can't even begin to comprehend yeah, this. Yeah, that's a very, um, that's a here, here too. Here Let's Cos- listen. Cos-Casian. Oh, Pam, we heard Pam, but we just said yeah, that. Pam, yep. That's huge. All right, Melanoma. I want to do it. Oh, a beautiful checkpoint. That was great. Wonderful. I want 10 more though. Mm-hmm. How do interferons work in conjunctival lesions? I think they maybe, my guess is maybe they kind of slow the the proliferation of the cells. Uh, maybe. I think you're right. That has to be it. Cytokines. Cytokines, I think, communicators. Mm-hmm. Therapeutic effect of interferon initially attributed to its known antiviral antineoplastic. Oh. So interferon alpha 2b, but that's hard to find in the mm-hmm. U.S. Mm-hmm. nowadays, the manufacturer. Gotcha. As of the recording, I, as far as I know, is not available. Dermal lipoma. Skin fat. Skin fat. Yeah. <laughs> it's like me. <laughs> I'm just a walking dermal lipoma. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay. I'm uh, kind of yellowy. No. Yellow cells are located <laughs> superior nasal. So which for nasal placoid? The oh. from the outer third of the sclera. Dermoid, of course. Mm-hmm. The chorostomas. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love there this. There we go. Normal tissue in the wrong place. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm feeling good. Should Great. we keep rocking and rolling? I think we should. <laughs> a chorostoma. What, what is a? It's a. What is a chorostoma, <laughs> Dr. Olson? Oh, I don't know if I have a good answer for this one. Chorostoma. It's just that weird tissue. No, normal tissue in the wrong place. Normal it's tissue in be. the wrong place, yeah. Yes. Normal tissue in an abnormal location. We, we crushed that one. That was one. great. Oh, pinguacula versus teridium. I was mostly disappointed there were no typos on this one, but I yeah, like it. Yeah, it was. It could have very well been a good <laughs> a good place to have some typos. Similar findings, conjunctival findings, mm-hmm. teridium crossing the crossing limbus. Crossing the limbus, correct. Pings. The first time I heard a student say pings, they just sounded so cool to me. I was like, I got to call it a ping every time. Oh. Flictenial. Oh, you know this. I do I know, know you do. this. So an area of growth onto the cornea that's caused by inflammation. Yeah. That's beautiful. I start to think about, is it in the U.S. or outside? Is it staph or is it TB? Mm-hmm. TB might cause that, but um, you got it. Crushed it. We got flictennial. Oh, treatment. Okay. Well, inflammation. I'm thinking steroid. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. It's an immune response. Mm-hmm. But also, you know, can be caused from, you know, staph buildup on the eyelid. So maybe we also add in an antibiotic. Let's take a peek. Or immunosuppressant. Drops. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if we use this a lot of immunosuppressants. Yeah. Steroid. But I agree with you. Mm-hmm. If you don't get rid of the staph mm-hmm. or the initial problem, that's just going to keep being a problem for the patient. We see that with, like, marginal keratitis, yeah, I think. absolutely. Yes, yeah, steroid is going to get the active inflammation, but antibiotic to just mm-hmm. cut down that load. Name <laughs> causes two flicks. Name causes, which we already did that, right? We did it. We're done. Yeah. What it? Oh, staph tuberculosis. Staph tuberculosis. Oh, it's saying name causes. It yeah, just, I was really thrown off with that one. <laughs> they threw <laughs> they threw the two in there, and then it just ruined everything. <laughs> Follicle versus papillae causes causes. So when I think of follicles, I think you chat with your follicles. Oh, yes. Wait. You so chat with your... You chat with your the follicles. So you have chlamydia, herpetic, oh. adenovirus. I love this. And toxic. You just blew my mind. I <laughs> that love that was a KMK one. reference, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. We're going to take it now. Chat. That's good. And then papillae is more allergic in my mind, but sometimes can be caused by chlamydia as well. So chlamydia can have follicles or papillae. I'm taking a stab at a cool little thing. Papillae has two A's. You said allergy has yeah. an A. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying here, guys. Chat you do follicles. It. You do it. <laughs> we didn't look at these. This was great. I love it. Okay. Well, they said trachoma, but. Oh, all right. We'll take yeah, it. What know, did you say? Toxic. So like any sort of yeah. like reaction to maybe like a, a drop of something, yeah. like a preservative type. Right. Yeah. Ooh. Hyperacute. It came on suddenly. Ooh. Purulent mucus discharge. Happened last night, all this mucus started pouring out. Pouring, pouring. (laughs) I'm thinking gonorrhea. 
I'm thinking chlamydia. Okay. I don't know. Oh, Ooh, I think nice. either is a good is a good guess though, right? Something uh, something nasty, infectious. What happened last night? That's <laughs> that's right. a good question. Moving on, we maybe shouldn't. Yeah. Non hyperacute, white or green color, purulent mucus discharge. Is this chlamydia? Think cause to conjunctivitis. Maybe purulent mucus discharge, non hyperacute. So I would go. I would go maybe chlamydia. White or green color. Hulk? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Oh, that's not what I expected. Mm -hmm. Aerobic or anaerobic bacterial. Fine. Okay, cool. Okay. Oh, good time to take a break. Thank you. This was awesome. You guys rock.